Now, speaking of Mitch Marner, I saw a lot of Mitch Marner slander tonight, and I get it. Like he's he's made some mistakes in this series. He's had chances that he's kind of boofed, and he's you know he just hasn't had that finishing touch. And especially like I will admit, on the power play, he has been a, a horrible. But you look at him at even strength tonight. He sixty three expect percent expected goals. He got a critical assist. Like that was an excellent pass that he made to Morgan Riley. I think we got to cut the guy some slack. He. He's got three points so far. It's like people are acting like like he's honestly just been a, an absolute turnstile with zero points and getting cratered on expected goals like <laughs> Brendan Gallagher. But no, Riley or Morgan <laughs> Marner is just he's doing a lot. He's just not finishing. If if he could shoot, man, we would be off to the races. Yeah, man, I saw people legitimately like talking about Marner's contract tonight. Like, oh, he's so overpaid. He never plays in the playoffs, kind of thing. And I'm like, okay, like. He had a bad power play, like a real stinky, stinky power play. I'll give you that. But I mean, give it a break a little bit. Like the guy was the guy was good tonight. Like there's there's nothing else you can say of that. He was amazing on the penalty kill early on in the game when I mean that game could have went pretty south very quickly for the least four minute power play for Montreal right off the bat. Mitch Marner was very good on that. Five V five, the numbers are great. Did him, Austin, and you know, Zach Hyman have their greatest game as a leaf? No, but they were solid again. Pucks didn't go in for them. I mean, I will say this. I think at times, I think Mitch Marner lacked a little bit of intensity or a little bit of will to go and get a loose puck, but that's stuff that just happens in a game. And all this Marner talk about, you know, oh, we need to get rid of him. He never shows up in the playoffs. When's Mitch Marner actually going to show up? Like, uh, we, we need to give it a little bit of rest because the guy's been good for us. Has he been, you know, otherworldly Nathan McKinnon level like he's been in this playoffs? No, but he's been a very good player for us. And if those bounces start to go in a little bit more for that line, then, I mean, no one's even going to think about, you know, slandering Mitch Marner on the timeline. No, and I don't get it either because he, he's like he's played a pivotal role in both of our wins. Like he set up Sandine beautifully he t- in, in game two. He took that pass from Matthews in his feet, kicked it to his stick and put it on a platter for Sandine. And then he had a great play to, to create that goal for Matthews to take the lead in the last game too. Like we, j- we just got to appreciate the good things we have. He is an exceptional player and he is, has he had his best games? No, but this is what Mitch Marner does. You'll, you'll think he played like, like garbage, and then you'll look at the score sheet and you're like, oh, th- three three primary assists for Mitch Marner and uh, expected goals above seventy five percent. That's par for the course. So, I think we ju- I think we just need to give him a break now. One person.